Campbell, the fashion designer and founder for the fashion design brand, Max Smith, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I am super excited and I kind of inspired my outfit based on this brand, which is Dulce and Cabana. And I wanted to go over um, their fall slash winter 2022 collection that debuted earlier, you know, this year. And you guys, I honestly, Dulce and Cabana is one of my favorite high-end luxury fashion design brands. I really wanted to go over their looks that they displayed on the runway for their women's wear, um, ready to wear. So I definitely wanted to get into it. I love their couture collection to ready to wear collection. Like their, their prints, I mean, I love the way Dulce and Cabana always creates cool silhouettes has prints, color blocking, print blocking. So, I mean, my outfit, I kind of tried doing that. This outfit, um, this blazer that I'm wearing, a tweed blazer, it was thrifted from Savers. This sheer, what do you call it? Like a sheer long sleeve um, leopard top. Very comfortable, by the way. It was also thrifted from Savers. And then this, I just have a regular um, spaghetti strap, like Spanx kind of tank top. Um, that was also thrifted. I believe I got it from Goodwill. And then my jewelry, I accessorized it with these Zara waterfall chandelier earrings, um, gold. Not real gold, but they're just like a metal. Um, and then this, I thrifted this a while ago, um, earlier this summer, and it's gold plated. And then these two necklaces are Pagoda 14 karat, and then this is also 14 karat that I did thrift from Savers for like $10.49, you guys, a while ago. And my pants, I might do a short and actually show you guys my full outfit. But yeah, this is my outfit. I decided to have fun with it. Um, it is inspired by fall season two. So that's why I feel a little bit warm. Keeping in mind, it's still August, um, but you know, fall is just around the corner. So I definitely wanted to have some fun with this look and kind of elevate it with these accessories. And just, I love the accessories with this look because it really, I feel, ties in everything together. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think below. And then usual, as usual, my rings. This I got from TJ Maxx. This is, ass this is not gold plated. Um, oh, what is that called? Electrofoam, electrofoam filled. And then this is just a 14 karat thin ring that I got from TJ Maxx last year. So yeah, that's just a little bit about my jewelry and accessories before we get into this video that was inspired by Dulce and Cabana. I had so much fun doing this outfit, you guys. It's not even funny. I'll definitely be doing a short on this later um, as well. Going back to this collection, I literally had so much fun watching this collection um, because there were so many huge silhouettes. There were shoulder pads, you guys. And the common fabrics that I did see, there was a lot of leather, there was a lot of latex fur, um, faux fur especially. And there was a lot of sheer fabric. I love the sheer fabric. I mean, I'm wearing one right now. Um, but yeah, sheer fabrics were so big during this collection. And there were some pops of color too for the fall ready to wear season collections. Um, some of my favorite looks, I'll definitely be going over some of my favorite looks with you guys in this video too. And let me know as I'm going along with this with you guys, um, what your favorite looks were too. There were a total of 90 looks for this collection as well. So let's get into this video, you guys. All right, so my first favorite look was definitely look number six. And it was a full sheer, it felt like a, almost like a lingerie crossing into um, kind of vibe um, because it was full sheer. It was high, high, dramatic, elevated shoulder pads. I love shoulder pads. This look was like a dress, like a sheer see-through dress with huge shoulder pads. And I mean, the bottom, it was like about mid-calf length, um, dress above the ankles. And it was like a gathered skirt. I really did like the gathered skirt look. This was a full all black ensemble. And it was also paired with like these very short shorts as well as a black bra. Again, I love like that satin look. I mean, the satin black bra and the satin shorts, I really loved. And then they decided to pair this look with a garter with stockings on it. So this is really giving me like a daring lingerie look. Um, and then for me, I could see myself definitely buying this sheer, sheer dress and just putting it over like an undergarment like shirt um, or maybe even, you know, like also short denim short too with it. Um, 
For the fall time, probably, I would probably, you can honestly put this over anything. I could definitely see myself pairing this with like a loose turtleneck or even just a regular t-shirt with like jeans, maybe joggers. You can do so much with this look. Um, and just always pairing it with a pair of heels. I think when you do have a dress or skirt that is ankle length or just above ankle length, like mid calf length, I think for me personally, um, my go-tos are definitely heels or mules or even like a good kitten heel, um, just to kind of elevate and like elongate your legs a little bit more since it does stop like, you know, at a ankle or mid calf length just to make your legs look longer. But for me, yeah, this look was so edgy. It was fun. It was daring. My next look was definitely look 28. And you guys, I love jackets. I think last year, um, in, a, in my thrift haul that I did like last fall time and winter time, you guys are gonna see a lot of the jackets that I thrifted. And I literally, since last year, I've been getting slowly into jackets more and more. Jackets, outerwear in general, blazers. And I thrifted so many of these jackets, um, you know, cool outerwear pieces. Cause I think that especially when it gets colder and the fall time especially um, when you can experience experience you know pea coats light jackets um, and whatnot before you get into the winter time where you have depending on where you live in the country or world like bigger puffy coats um, you can experiment so much in the fall time for this look specifically look 28 one thing that I really loved was the puffy coat and this was like a reinvention of the puffy coat because it was satin and not only was it satin but it had huge dramatic shoulder pads and it just was fitted at the waist so but when you wear puffy coats I feel like they don't always especially as like a woman with a nice figure you know for you ladies out there who want to show off your figure it's so hard to find a puffy coat to do so that shows off your curves in the right way but yeah this look 28 I love how they kind of reinvented the puffy coat and made it like luxurious looking and just like really form-fitting and yet still sexy but yet edgy and cool in classic, I mean, a lot of these black pieces, I mean, I feel like this collection had a lot of blacks in it um, and darker colors, but some pops of color you'll see as you go along, like the looks, the 90 looks, um, that there were some pops of colors, like blues, yellows, oranges um, in here incorporated. Of course, it was paired with some sheer leggings. I mean, sheer leggings, you can use any time of the season it's a classic look sheer leggings um and then they just had the model's hair slicked back so i mean i think that yeah this puffer coat this outfit really accentuated just the coat and just focused on nothing else but the coat which i admire and love so much my next favorite look was look 29 um the very next one and this was an all sheer ensemble i love there's something about sheer looks that just feel so classic, feel so timeless and chic and sexy, no matter how you style it. And this look, it, because it was all sheer, it also was lined with like a bunch of those like sheer kind of line patterns um, throughout. And this was like a bodysuit, like a sheer bodysuit, asymmetrical one shoulder. And it was paired with these like long um elbow gloves okay so this look was an all sheer ensemble i think when you think of fingerless gloves you know i would just imagine pairing a bunch of like gold rings or dramatic rings and accessories to make it really look cool chic and just i don't know fun and different i love that they had you know a belt they had this black leather belt with brass gold tone hardware um to finish this look off there was like a satin slash lace bra underneath which i also loved um i see myself getting everything in this outfit i love the gold hoop earrings that they really paired it with um as well as like the choker necklace i just think that black and gold i love black and gold i feel like when you have black with gold accessories like our gold hardware it just elevates and just makes your outfit or your accessorized item looks so badass. So I love accessories that are black and gold. Those are my go-to. Sexy, it was daring, it was fun especially. And yeah, this was definitely one of my top looks. My next favorite outfit um, was look number 36. And I definitely say this look, um, mainly because of the faux fur jacket. It was a white faux fur jacket. I've been getting into jackets, you guys, um, again, since last year. So, um, 
I've really been getting into jackets since last fall when you guys have seen me thrift um, a lot of jackets over time again outerwear pieces blazers um, especially last fall and I've you know learned so much like looking at these jackets that I've gotten and thrifted and bought secondhand from vintage shops as well that over time when you do wear them and you do layer them they just really builds up your outfit um, i love layering that's why i love fall fall is one of my favorite seasons but really these jackets do and can elevate your outfit and just make everyday wear so much more fun and cool edgy and sleek and i think that's what this look was doing it was an all white ensemble um I think it was kind of cool and a little bit comical how they added these boxy square glasses. It almost looked like her face was like in a box. Um, for me, that's not really my style, but I mean, hey, I thought it was so cool and it was kind of comical and just fun to pair it with. And of course, you know, you have the sheer leggings underneath this jacket. But again, the dramatic shoulders. I think this fall time, we're going to see a lot of dramatic shoulders and a lot of, you know, big sweaters outerwear blazers jackets you name it i think that's going to be a hot thing for going into the fall and winter season for this year but another favorite look of mine was look 43 and this is one of the most classic looks which is like a shoulder padded blazer with a pair of trousers but i feel like this look is definitely a reinvention of both of the items, which makes the suit a classic suit. Um, this blazer, it was again, elevator, dramatic, huge, exaggerated shoulder pads with a cropped um, kind of hem on the bottom and it was fitted. So like the torso part was fitted, which I really love because again, I love, you know, centrated waist. Um, and I think when you do centrate your waist and you make your shoulders really big and dramatic, it does give you the illusion of having like a smaller petite body. And then the trousers, I really loved how they kind of had these really wide V-shaped pockets on the sides, giving that like illusion of just like, you know, like wider hip kind of illusion. Again, really accentuating the um, woman's body a lot more. And I think, you know, again, this is a dark color, dark black. And I think the pants almost like they're dark navy color because they're not the same color as top. But I think that these dark color combinations, again, huge for the fall time. I think dark colors like blacks, navies are always going to be classical pieces in the colder months of the season, fall and winter forever I think they're just classical pieces that are easy to style um, and mix and match with I definitely see myself wearing this like on an everyday you know if it's formal dressy to an event if you're depending on what kind of job you do office wise and whatnot I see myself wearing those trouser pants with like a regular t-shirt um, or a tank or even turtleneck going into like I love the oversized turtlenecks I don't like the tight ones but the oversized turtlenecks with the loose you know neck collar part okay another cool look is look 51 and for this look it's an all it reminds me of like a BDSM kind of look, like a bondage looking kind of feel and vibe. Um, it is leather and it has like a million silver grommets with lace and ties and closures and whatnot. I just think that there's just so much detail that just needs to be appreciated in this look. And I think with like these high end luxury brands, sometimes there's just so much to look at at once, but like, I just love that detail because I feel like sometimes more is more and sometimes less can be more as well. But I think with this look, just with the top alone, I mean, the whole thing was like put together by like slabs of leather. And I feel like just with the top, I felt like more is more and I can see this being paired with regular trousers, especially, I can see this being paired with like distressed light wash de jeans, make it really fun and spruce it up for the fall time. Um, and even maybe leather, leather might be like too hard or a leather look, but sometimes 
you can make it look really cool chic and just really edgy and fun i love also the cargo pants too that they styled the top with as well the cargo pants had so many belt buckles and zippers on it um, as well as quite a few pockets on the side with like self silver hardware to match the silver grommets that were um, created in the top as well i love this look is just so detailed so the next up that's one of my favorite looks out of many of them i mean i loved all of them but these ones really stood out to me it was luck 64 ankle with the all red ankle lift link leather croc print jacket and it's a metallic red color too which i think is super fun um not all the time can you see metallic red colors on the runway or red carpet but I really do like how they created so much little detail. They not only just made a leather jacket, but it was a croc print leather jacket, as well as metallic instead of just a regular red print or a regular red color. They added like a metallic feel to it. And I thought this was super cool, super fun. I have been seeing a lot of metallics too on the runways for the fall winter um, of this year. And I think it's gonna be really interesting because I feel like metallic and hardware and accessories and jewelry really can go hand in hand and just make an outfit just tie together really well um especially especially i know like during the holiday season metallics are so common but there's just so many cool ways and different ways to do it and i think that's what this brand dulce and gabbana was trying to do with the metallic pieces and reinventing metallic so it's not just the typical like crystal sparkly sequin outfit um, i think that they're just trying to do like metallic leathers which are different um and cool and i love like the trench coat pea coat oversized look that they did give um into this look with the jacket in itself i love oversized look i definitely do see this jacket being worn in so many different ways even if you're wearing a sweatshirt with some joggers and sneakers you can wear this jacket over it and just make it so fun and so chic and cool and elevated and i love the accessories too throughout all of the looks on those in <laughs> throughout all of the looks in dulce and cabana i love all of their accessories the oversized accessories that they did um bring and a lot of these accessories were like the silver metallic kind of accessories but i love it um crystals glass um just the earring that this model is wearing i just think that it's just so beautiful you guys i think the embellishment is so beautiful i love the sheer turtleneck that she has too um with it i love the sheer under pieces i feel like that just adds a pop of like mm, to it um, and as you can see, she is wearing sheer crystal gloves too, which make it so fun. I think that those gloves are beautiful. Um, and of course she has like a latex patent leather red purse too to go with it. Shoes guys, these shoes um, almost look like snowshoes, but they're the leather shoes that are gathered at the ankle. I think that these boots look amazing. I think the outfits look amazing and just the whole style in itself just looks so amazing and so elevated and chic and i definitely see myself wearing this around the holidays for sure another look that i loved and that drew my attention out of all of the 90 looks was look number 66 and this is a full blown out silver metallic crop printed leather look the boots the thigh high boots i love thigh high boots and then the matching material or matching fabric that they had for the dress this dress is just a basic dress. I don't know why, but it's giving me like Kanye Yeezy vibe for some reason, the way he would style. I do love it. It's very retro. It almost is like a virtual, a virtual kind of vibe I'm getting. Even like the glasses and a lot of these looks that were accessorized with the outfits were giving me virtual reality kind of vibes. And even the way they set up the runway for this show was giving me very virtual reality um, and futuristic vibes. The big oversized shoulders, it's giving me a Lego mutton sleeve kind of shape. And then again, this just stopped at the thigh just enough where if you were to wear thigh high boots, they would fit and match perfectly and the proportions would be just perfect. I feel like this is a less, less is more outfit because I feel like it's just the detail that speak up for the outfits, like the croc imprint on both the shoes as well as the dress and then the oversized shoulders really and the oversized sleeves in general the lego mutton looking sleeves really just spruce up the outfit just make a basic dress look even more elevated next up is look number 81 this look is an all metallic gold look 
and it's giving me very New Year's Eve, New Year's Day party vibe. And um, I just think the gold metallic, sometimes gold and metallic together can look a little bit cheap, but in this case, it did not look cheap at all. I think that, you know, just having the structure and the silhouette so structured, so structured and how the waist cinch in this blazer, um, it was like a blazer dress, but the waist cinched in so well. You can just see the pleated dart details um, by the waist area. And of course, we're giving that illusion of a small waist, bigger upper body with the big shoulder pads. Um, and this was also thigh length too. This looked very fun, chic, high end, giving me very holiday party vibes. Um, I would see myself and I could see other people too wearing this at some kind of a holiday party, birthday party during the holidays, nice dinner too as well. I just love this outfit. It's super fun. You could add minimal accessories to it and just let the blazer dress do the talking for you. Okay, you guys, so there you have it. Those are my top looks out of many of those looks. I love like honestly every single look um, out of the total 90 looks that Dulce and Cabana did have for their fall slash winter 2022 season. But of course, you know, I feel like I'd be here talking for hours about every single look. Let me know what you guys think below for your favorite looks. If you guys did watch the runway show or if you guys have read about it on their website, let me know what look was your favorite and what kind of elements did you really love and enjoy to look at? For me, it was a lot of the oversized shoulder pads as well as the different textures. I mean, they had sheer textures. They had fur materials, um, fabrics. They had latex. I feel like they had all the strong fabrics into one runway show and collection and everything was just so cohesive and just blended well nice together and those are the types of fabrics that you see only for holiday parties selective kind of parties but they just made a whole collection of just those kind of different fabrics which i thought was so bold daring edgy fun and unique again that is why dulce and cabana are is one of my many top favorite design brands let me know what you guys think as well thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe to my channel as well as give this video a thumb up thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>